Hey everyone, I'm going to be installing these Traveler LED lights, like a spotting light. There's two of them. I'm going to be putting them on my M8000 uh, right here. I'm going to install them right here on the bumper. And uh, I actually have one on there right now. This is going to be set up like that. There'll be two of them. It'll help with my lighting at night. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to hook it up so you can take your cowling off and on without having to worry about this, the lights unhooking the wiring to it. I purchased these at uh, Tractor Supply. They were like $40. They seem like a really nice light. Comes with the bracket, the bolt, all the hardware. We'll see how they look. I haven't even turned them on yet. Get that light mounted wherever you want it, wherever you like it. In my case, I'm gonna have them just like that. Okay, what you wanna get is you wanna get a 7 32nd drill bit, and that's gonna be for the cord on this light. If you get the one with the track supply or, or mount it up, you know, match it up to any cord you have. I'm, in this case, gonna drill a hole right in here. That way I can stick the wiring right through here and cross it over underneath, and run it all the way up through here. So to add wire to this, I have red, black. You can buy this stuff at Walmart. This is a 14 gauge wire. Uh, usually they're like five or six dollars a piece. That's what we're gonna to wanna to add onto this so we can have enough length to get up in there. You can uh, feed that up through the hole we made for that wiring for the light. I'll just show you that we're gonna make sure we get enough length and to just kinda of run it up where, about where you're gonna want it. And then we'll secure the wiring later. Always make sure you give yourself enough too. And we'll just make sure we have enough to cut off. Okay, now that that's all run up through there, we'll cut these wires back. Leave yourself enough room, you can always pull them up and through the machine. That way you get something to work with. Okay, make sure you get yourself a shrink tubing. And some, I'm using, in this case, I'm using these uh, like solder connections to use a heat gun. Get that heat gun in there and shrink that down over the wire and it solders it together. Okay, get your wiring where you're gonna wanna want it, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that plug to secure it. But I'm just gonna take this glue gun and I'm gonna squirt some hot glue in through the hole just to kind of plug it up. You know, you don't ha absolutely have to do this, but I'm gonna do it. Just kind of let that cool a little bit. Put some on the other side. 
Okay, now we're ready to secure this plug. I'm gonna use these zip ties. I'm gonna drill a hole so we can get this plug for that light secured right there. And then if I ever had to change this light, I can just unplug it right from there. So there you have it guys, that's how I got my wiring in there. So I'm going to hook up my switch right in here, I'm going to try to mount it somewhere in here. And this switch actually goes to my light bar that's on my handlebars. So I want to have it so when that goes on, these lights come on. So it's all one system. So what you want to do is get yourself a light tester, ground it out on the machine, so you get your constant power my constant power and my things off. So you turn your switch on and you find the power when the switch is on. And that's the one you're gonna to wanna to splice into. And then the other one's your ground. So I'm gonna unplug that switch right from here. So my constant wire is the white on this one. So the blue is the, the, the positive wire and the black is the ground when the switch is on. That's what I'm gonna to wanna to splice into so those turn on. So just as a precaution, I'm gonna add one of these fuses right from where I'm tying into so that if any of the wiring goes bad from, from where, that, where I tied into to the lights, if it gets bad through there, it'll pop that fuse. Now we're gonna to wanna to strip these wires back Okay, I got that all taped up with electrical tape. We know we're good because we have the soldering connections. The last step would be to install this fuse. But we're gonna leave it out for right now until we get the other light tied in. Okay, the last step is to splice this wiring in to the same connection that's coming down. So we only have two coming down from where we tied in and then it just splits off to these two. Okay, we're gonna go for the true test. Get that fuse in there. Plug that up. And we'll hit her a switch. And there you go. They're on. Oh yeah, those are bright. Awesome. Definitely cool. I'll show you them at night too, but they definitely are bright. 